Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about a new SQL command called delete, which is going to allow us to delete rows from our tables in our database. We're going to learn about the syntax of the delete statement, and then we're going to be, uh, learn about how to use our delete statement uh, from PHP. So one part is sort of going to be um, learning the SQL part of it, and then how to transform that or, or move that into uh, PHP code. Uh, so, as mentioned, a delete statement is a uh, SQL command that's used to basically just delete rows from a table based on specified criteria. We've learned how to insert rows into a table. We've learned how to retrieve rows from a table. Now we're going to learn how to delete them. It has the syntax shown here. It starts with the keywords delete from, and then it, you specify the name of the, ta the table that you want to delete rows from. And then, like our select statement, it has a WHERE clause. Uh, and that basically is how you define which rows you want to delete. So this statement here is saying, delete all the rows from the items table where the item ID equals 1001. Well, we know from our items table that our item ID is a primary key, so there's only going to be one row that's going to uh, be deleted here. So this is going to delete one row from the table um, uh, where the item ID is 1001. Now the WHERE clause operates just like it does uh, for select statements, for selecting rows from the table. And in that, you can use comparison operators, as we did here. We tested if they're equal, you can use lo and you can use logical operators. For example, we used AND and OR uh, when demonstrating um, WHERE uh, conditions when we talked about uh, select statements. You can use all those same um, uh, operators and operations in order to define which rows you want to delete from a particular table. So uh, if we go and uh, I have MySQL monitor loaded up, and if we go and look at all the items in our table, Had an error in the syntax. We can see that our um, table, I, I've just pulled up the item ID name and price for all the item rows in our items table. We can see that we have the default set up for our, our database, which is our six, our six items. And so if we want to run, if we want to delete item 1001, let's go ahead and run that delete command we just saw. So we, del we write delete from the table we want to delete from, which is items, where item ID equals 1001. And if we run this, we're going to get query OK. We notice that it's going to say one row is affected. We know that that was a primary key we specified, so it's only going to signify one row. If we run the select query on our um, items table again, we're going to see now that item uh, 1001 is no longer, uh, no longer in the database. Uh, one other thing to note is that if you want to delete all the items or all of the rows from a table, um, you can simply just omit the WHERE clause, and you would just say delete from items. In this particular case, that's going to delete every row from the um, items table. So actually, if we were to go ahead and run that command, it should tell us that five rows have been deleted. It's going to say five rows are affected. If we run our SELECT command again, it's going to reduce, produce an empty set because no rows were returned. So I'm going to go ahead and I have a script that I used to, um, I'm going to repopulate all the tables to get them back to the default state. And now, just to verify that the data is back in the table, because we're going to be using it in our next uh, slide. We can see that all of the data is back. So now we're going to talk about how to run delete commands, or delete, yeah, delete commands from PHP. Uh, basically, running a delete query works in the same way that we ran an insert query. And the reason for that is that it when you run a delete query, it doesn't return a result set. We saw that there was a difference between our insert query and running a select query from PHP, because insert query would just, uh, you could get the number of affected rows and you could get the insert ID that was generated. However, um, and that was what basically the information that you got after running the query. On a select query, we'd actually get a result set object uh, returned that we could loop over and basically extract information from all the different rows. Well, delete doesn't return any data. Uh, basically, all it does is, is we can find out whether the query was successful and then also um, how many rows were affected. So um, one thing is that the query method, when you include, let's say we were to include a delete statement, 
within the query method, which again is a method that is part of our MySQLi object. So this is assuming you've already opened a connection to the database. Um, now we're going to run a delete query. Um, it's going to return true or false, basically, uh, to let you know whether the delete query was successful. So that's one way that you can test. Um, additionally, we learned on the insert statement about the property of this MySQLi, MySQLi class, which is a class that we instantiate to connect to a MySQL database. It has the property affected rows, which tells you the number of rows that were affected by the last operation that occurred. Uh, so we can access this after we run a delete statement to see how many rows were deleted. So for example, assuming we already have a, um, assuming our database variable is um, an instance of a MySQLi object, um, what we can do is we can create a query string that's going to say delete all the rows from items, for example, which is a query that we just ran. Um, what we can do is then call on this uh, MySQLi object. We can run the query method, pass it the delete query, and then if we wanted to, we could test result to see whether it was true or false, to see whether the query succeeded. And then what we're going to do here is we're also going to output the number of rows that were deleted, and we can do that by accessing um, from this MySQLi object, accessing its property affected rows, which is going to tell you the number of rows that were affected by the last operation, which assuming we run this in sequential order like this, would be this delete uh, from items operation. So let's take a look at how this uh, looks in actual PHP script. Um, we have a script here called delete item.php, uh, and it basically it follows the four step. The other thing to mention about using a delete query is because we're running a MySQL query, we, we're going to follow the same steps that we normally do for running a MySQL query. We perform step one, which is opening a connection to the MySQL database. And this is actually the same code that we used in um, some of our other lecture examples. We just connect to our uh, advanced PHP database as our PHP user. Uh, we test for a connection error. Then here's where we run our SQL statement. Uh, in this case, we're going to be deleting from items where item ID equals 1001. So we're just going to be deleting that first item in our database. Uh, we're going to run the query. And then basically what we're going to do is test if the number of affected rows was 1. We know that that's a primary key. It should only delete one row from the table. So if um, affected rows is not equal to 1, it means an error has occurred. We can output an error message. Otherwise, we're going to put out the number of items deleted was. In this case, we're going to access the affected rows property, even though we know it's 1. Um, and that's just going to demonstrate how to use that affected rows property again uh, from our MySQLi object. After all that's done, we close things up and we uh, call the close uh, function or the close method on our MySQLi object. So if we look at our current state of our database, again, I'll just run a select query. You can see that we have all um, six items, default items in our database, including item 1001. Well, if we go to um, our lecture example, run the script delete item.php, we can see a, a thing that says, a message that says the number items deleted was one. If we go back and we look at our uh, select, uh, run a select query on that table again, we can see that item 1001 is no longer in the table. So that's how you um, basically run a delete query uh, from PHP. So again, it's uh, you do the four basic steps for connecting to and running a query from a MySQL database. The delete um, query is similar to running an insert query in that you don't have a result set object that you process. You can test for the number of affected rows and then test whether it was successful or not. Oops. So for the homework challenge, I'm going to have you uh, do something similar. I'm going to have you create a script called deletePerson.php that's going to accept a get query parameter called person ID um, that's going to be set to the ID of a person in the people table. Now we've created this people table in previous uh, homework challenges, so you're going to need to, um, if you don't have that set up, you're going to have to have it um, set up and then also populated with some data. We know that person ID is the primary key of that table. Uh, so what we're going to do, an example URL for how to use the script would be delete person.php and then you provide the query string of, and which is the ID of the person that you want to delete from uh, the database, from the per people table, excuse me. Uh, so then what, what you're going to do is have your script extract the person ID from this get query string and then build up a, a delete statement that's going to appropriately delete that corresponding person from the people table. So that means that we're gonna, you're going to have to make use of a WHERE clause to specifically um, specify the row that you want to delete, which is going to refer to this particular person. Go ahead and run the delete query 
and output the number of rows that was affected using the affected rows property of our MySQLi object. And it should be one, because we have one row, a primary key row we're deleting. Um, and then just remember to follow the four basic steps for accessing a MySQL database uh, from PHP. Opening the connection, um, uh, running your delete query, testing the number of affected rows, and then closing uh, the database connection. So that ends today's lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.